take a look at this, Gordon. Well, maybe I will. What's going on, everybody? Your host, AMF 1534 here, saying welcome back to Let's Play some more Half-Life 2. And last time, we made it to Black Mesa East, and uh, we found the black version of Oscar Pistorius without the brutal murder, <laughs> you know? I mean, he's got the same type of prosthetic leg. So, I mean, if he ever wanted to enter into the City 17 Olympics for, uh, for sprinting, he could probably totally do that. I just don't know how well he'd place, considering that it's got to be pretty hard running with a with one prosthetic leg and one natural all-American regular leg, Alex, so who knows? I thought you were on watch. The Vortigons relieved me, so I could come see Gordon. Anyway, <laughs> so it'd still I be really be weird to be, you know, working with there. aliens, <laughs> and like that's totally a normal thing. Like if I was working with aliens, that would take me a really long time to get used to. But then again, I don't know how long they've been chilling together. <laughs> I'm assuming this probably isn't the first week. He's probably like, ah, no, no, man, I've I've known Travis for like ten years. He watches my kids on Sundays. Alex, <laughs> they're still getting used to it though. Gordon along and give him some practice with the gravity gun. Sure. With the gravity gun? Let's go have some fun. And by that, I don't mean with the gravity gun, unless you're talking about your penis. All right, let's go play with this gravity gun. I'm kind of excited about this. Hey, you should adjust your belt. It's pissing me off, you know? I, I'm, I'm one of those guys I hate when things are all weird so like that. Just, Dr. Mossman. just have the damn thing She's be one of the main reasons I spend so much time outside. You should hear her I feel like Mossman or, or Mossman, that sounds like a really shitty today. name of like of like in, like a villain sorry, from the old Batman universe. It just gets a bit <laughs> I feel like, down here. oh, we've got to go capture Mossman. He's ruining the Gotham That's Gardens. That's Mr. Ravenholm. We don't go there anymore. I got a weird feeling I'm going to be going there then. If that's a place that no one else is going, on. I'm going to be going there. There's got to be a, re a very, very distinct reason why there's nobody going there anymore. Man, I love buttons that sound like that. I want to have buttons like that on my keyboard. <laughs> Except for that would probably get really annoying after a while, especially with how fast I type. It would just be bloop, 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 Way too fucking fast. Oh, here we go. What have you, you know? I mean, they got this, they got all of their, all of their facilities under extreme care here. Like, they're under way hardcore blast door security. So, here we are. The scrapyard. And so this is where you keep a gravity gun? and a tire swing <laughs> for somebody that's this extremely short. Was talking about. You can call it the zero point energy field manipulator if you really want to. That it's sounds way more official, but I kind of like gravity gun better. But we mainly use it for heavy lifting. Give it a try. That thing's fucking huge. The primary trigger emits a charge. <laughs> you can punch stuff and send it flying. Like this tire swing. Found it handy for clearing Whoa. Fields. Jeez. Okay. So gravity gun just automatically comes Secondary out with G, huh? Grab things. You can throw them with the primary. Oh, this is awesome! Oh my god! Secondary trigger again. Oh, I wonder if I could kill Oh come on. Come on, baby. <laughs> Wanna hit her so bad. Oh, I can't do it. Oh man, that would have been awesome. Dude, this gun is freaking crazy. Not to mention that Oh my god. Dude, we can do some we can do some serious Try damage with this. From that ledge up there. Holy shit. Right. Dude, this is awesome. This is probably... This may or may not be, like, my favorite gun that I've seen in, like, an FPS shooter since we got the, uh... Stack some stuff to climb up here. Oh, God. Well, I already blew up a couple of the boxes. That's not going to help things any. Um, yeah, dude, this is, like, one of my favorite weapons in, a, uh, in an FPS game since, uh... Since I got the penetrator in fear. Just stacking some things. Grab something with your secondary trigger, then press the same trigger again to drop it gently. Yeah, I, I right. understand that. I'm way ahead of you, lady. All right. You don't need. You don't need to tell me what I'm doing. Beware of dog. <laughs> if the dog charges me, can I use the gravity gun and like throw him up on top of the cliff? Because I'll totally do that. No, I know Peter will be pissed. But I got a feeling this is not a conventional ah. dog. No, it's not. <laughs> It's a weird, mechanical, mongoloid dog. 
Whoa, okay, you didn't need to roll over, Fido. Jesus. Doggy. Gordon, this is dog. <laughs> Good doggy. My dad Slobber all over mommy. <laughs> First model was about. <laughs> and it just like a, just like emits a bunch of a bunch of bolts out of the front of itself. <laughs> okay, dog, let's play catch with Gordon. You'll need to use the gravity gun. I actually really like this thing. It's really cool. Okay. What the fuck is going on? Is he gonna throw something at me? Oh boy. Hiya! Good catch. So do I throw it back at him or what? Throw another dog. Oh no, he's just we're just playing we're pl playing catch with our old man. Or I guess I would technically be the old man here, I don't know. You're really getting the hang of it, son. <laughs> another another couple years of practice and you'll be throwing an Ephus pitch like a like a real man, you know? Oh, tight. And we can play basketball up here <laughs> with our oxygen backboard. What the fuck? What is this thing? Why is it doing that? It's like chasing me. Oh, tight. What the hell is this? Well, this is a weird little thing. Hey ah. Huh. Whoa, what are you doing? What are you doing? Good throw. Dude, this is weird. Man, I gotta be really far away for that to work. If I'm gonna try to make a basket out of it, at least. God, it, it just... It, <laughs> It shoots with so much power. I don't really know what I'm supposed to be doing right now, though. Holy shit. Damn, dude, that's the way to make a basket. That's that's how you gotta do this. I don't even know. I, I'm probably not even doing this. I'm probably supposed to be doing something specific, but... I'm way more enamored with with what's going on here. Okay, Gordon, let's try something else. Yeah, let's let's do. Uh, throw something bigger. Like what? <laughs> He's just gonna grab like the whole dumpster. What is this? Like, why is it so attracted to me right now? I'm not taking your advances, damn it! No, no, oh no, God, he totally is throwing the whole thing. What is it, Don? Uh oh. Oh no, something's going wrong. Alright, I'm coming. I'm, oh boy, I should have known something was going to happen. Oh boy, this is bad news. <laughs> I hope nobody kills that dog, dude. That guy was awesome. So let's, let's hope for the best, I guess. Yeah, come in. Come with us. Yeah, you're going to come with us. This is cool. I'm already, I'm building... I'm building a uh, relationship with this man, or this not man, this weird dog with a flower-looking face. Gordon's still with you. He's right here. Good. I want you to. Oh God! Come on, man. Take Gordon out of here. Head for the coast. Do not go through rape. Head for the coast. Save me a martini. Damn it! I want my shaken. Come on, dog. You know what you gotta That's do. Enough, yeah. That a boy. Come oh on, shit! Boy. You're not gonna let me get in there. Okay, here we go. I'm trying, damn it! <laughs> I'm trying to shoot her. Oh shit! Well, this place is really coming down. What the hell is going on? Fuck. Dude, of course. Of course, that's gonna happen. Gordon, you need to get out of here. I understand. I can't leave my father. Dog. Take Gordon to the Ravenholm Tunnel, then start... Ah, see? <laughs> Just like that, we're already going. Off to Ravenholm, which sounds like something straight out of Lord of the Rings. <laughs> I don't know why, but like, whenever I see this thing run, it, it kind of, it, it runs more like a gorilla, and so it totally reminds me of Amy from Congo. Amy, what? Raindrop drink! <laughs> that fucking thing. Oh, it's funny. Oh. Gravity gun time. Sick. Yeah. Oh, baby, bring it out to me. Bring it on, bring it on. Oh, you know what? Yeah. 
I think I think one of my favorite things about this gun is that there's just no ammo to it. Like it's just an infinite source of oh. Got these guys. Oh dude, I know what I'm gonna do. You wanna play? Yeah, we'll play alright. Yeah, we're definitely gonna play a game. I wanna play a game. It's called Fuck You! <laughs> okay, so oh here we go, we got a ladder. Um whoa, whoa, whoa. Calm down. So we need to figure out how to... Oh, okay. <laughs> no, I don't want to waste one of those. Jeez, I got plenty of plenty of ammo for the other guns. I don't need to be wasting valuable magnum ammo. Be careful. Anything over here? Nope. <laughs> Just uh, some, some stuff here that finishes up with a gun. I don't like these closed, I don't like these little closed spots like this. It always, always makes me feel weird. I know there's, oh, never mind. We don't go to Ravenwall. Well, guess what? I'm pretty sure we're here, judging by the sign. <laughs> I don't think somebody brought this here as a souvenir. I really don't like this music. This is actually really unsettling right now. It's very effective, though. That's that's always a major thing you've gotta have in like a suspense thriller type of what the fuck is this? Is that just a guy's lower half hanging? Oh my god. Dude, that's grisly. That's like something straight out of like That's like something straight out of Dexter or something. Hey, what's up? <laughs> I did not realize you'd be here. Oh, I wanna play with you. I absolutely gotta do something. <laughs> what up? Oh, man, that's awesome. I'm never gonna... I'm. <laughs> it's gonna take me a while to get used to that. <laughs> Not in, like, a bad way, but totally in a way of... I'm probably gonna over... I'm gonna probably, like, abuse that a little bit. So, I wonder if there's anything back here. That's a lot of blood. I mean, gotta get a, gotta get a guy with a power washer out here. I mean, janitors can definitely make a lot of money in, uh, in, you know, in this, uh, in this day and age, you know? Because, I mean, somebody's got to clean up all this stuff. You can't you can't be living in a society where there's just blood floating all over the place. Never, never a good... Oh, no. Okay. <laughs> I guess that's fine. Aha! Oh, damn, is that the guy's, that guy's top half? Oh, my God. <laughs> so gross. He just got freaking Amanda from Saw. Or, well, that's something that Amanda from Saw would have totally done. Didn't even give him a chance to live. She's just like, oh, you didn't even give me a chance to get out of here. <laughs> All he does is shoot you. Let's let's just duck under this. Oh my good lord, man. It's just a freaking blood fest in here. Oh hey, what's up? Oh no, there's a whole bunch of them. Okay, this isn't good. We need to we need to go to machine gun. Machine gun! We got the go. Oh. Okay, I've, I've had enough. You, I get it. You guys, you guys are here. You are you are not to be trifled with. There we go. Whew. Boy, this is this is, this is not good. This this uh, this entire little area here kind of reminds me of something that I would have seen in Cry of Fear. I don't know. Just whoa. it's just a, a lot of uh, you know really enclosed areas and just like these zombies pop out like right in the right spot just to kind of catch you off guard. Okay. These guys are going to wake up too from their <laughs> from their eternal slumber that's going to end right as I walk by. Dude, are you kidding me right now? Seriously? You got to you got to be messing with me here. Like what kind of what kind of weird sorcery is this? <laughs> you know? You can't just be having like these weird rotary blades just hanging out right here. It's it's totally and they're completely indestructible apparently. Oh god, god, this feels like gauntlet all over again. All right, on three, one, two, three. Valhalla! Ah, oh, we made it. <laughs> okay, whatever. And we didn't even take any damage from that. I was I was thinking we were at least gonna take something. Whoa! Where do you think you're going? 
Well, that's weird. So, like, you actually... Uh, I get it. You kill the guy, but he actually still ends up... Like, the little face-hugger guy here, he ends up still living anyways. <laughs> he just detaches from his, uh, his previous little prison. For the days of my life have vanished like smoke, and my bones are parched like ash, and let all my impurities be as fuel for the fire until nothing remains but the fire. There's something, uh, something tells me this guy's a little bit, a little bit, uh, a little bit off his rocker here. Not like John Rocker, but, you know, he's he's definitely, uh, his rocking chair is busted and now he's getting a little pms -y over it. But, you know what? I think this is going to be a good place to stop for now. So when we come back on the next episode of Let's Play Half-Life, we get to explore more of Ravenholm and try to figure out who it is that's talking to us right now, because uh, I think he's going to be semi-important. In, in the grand scope. Or either that, or he's just a guy that's totally crazy and we need to totally shoot him in the face. Whichever one it comes out to be, we'll, uh, we'll know when we get there. But uh, until then, my friends, this is your host, AMF, saying thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye, everybody.